Hey guys, I'm Joe, this is Theo Joe Tech. Now, in this day and age, everyone pretty much uses either LEDs or compact fluorescent lights, CFLs, for their lights. Tungsten incandescents are practically banned in the USA at this point for regular lighting. So, really, what's the difference between LEDs and CFLs? Which is more worth it? That's what this video is gonna be about. First, let's talk about wattage. It's usually the first thing people talk about when they are comparing the two. Now, LEDs only use between six and eight watts for a 60 watt incandescent equivalent, and fluorescents typically use 13 to 18 watts. So that means that LEDs use about half the energy as CFLs. LEDs also last a lot longer. While CFLs last maybe up to 8,000 hours, LEDs can last up to 50,000 hours. However, if you go to buy one, most product descriptions really only list up to about 25,000 hours, so that's what we're gonna go with here. So how does that translate to price? Well, looking on Amazon, the cheapest LEDs are about $4 each, and the cheapest CFLs are about $2 each. Now, you gotta consider those are the bottom of the barrel cheapos, so if you're gonna be looking for something with a decent lifespan that actually gets the full 25,000 hours, the good brands like GE and Philips are about $7 each, for those bulbs, so let's go with that figure for that. However, it seems like even the decent brands for CFLs are still about $2 each, so that's a plus for that as well. You'll probably get the full 8,000 hours on that. So LED bulbs cost about three times more, but they last three times as long, so only considering that, in the long run, they'll be the same price, but if you consider the fact that they use half the energy, really LED bulbs are going to be cheaper in the long run. But what other factors are there to consider besides just price? Well, the first thing is that most people will tell you fluorescent lights have mercury in them, which is true. It's part of the technology. There is a small amount of mercury which is poisonous to humans. Now, it's such a small amount, so I'm a bit skeptical about if these people are kind of exaggerating the environmental impact. That being said, if one of these breaks open, I'm probably going to be a bit careful to not get it too close to my face because I don't really want to breathe that stuff in, if you know what I mean. Next, LED bulbs are much more durable. There's no glass tubes or light bulbs to break, so if you drop an LED bulb or bump it or something, probably will keep working. It's just a, a diode in there that really, you know, you can't really break those very easily. Whereas a bulb, you know, you hit it on the wrong thing, it's gonna shatter, get stuff all over the place. That really doesn't happen with an LED. They're very durable. Also for LEDs, they don't become as hot because obviously they're using a lot less energy and also more of the energy is translated into light that we can see as opposed to infrared light, which is more heat. So if you touch a fluorescent bulb after it's been on, it gets pretty hot. It could probably burn you if you keep touching it. But for an LED, you know, it might be warm, probably not gonna get burned by it. Another thing I've noticed is that fluorescent lights, when they burn out, they literally burn out. I don't know if you've ever seen a fluorescent bulb that is gone out. It's got like burn marks on the side. This has happened more than one time to me and that's just how they fail. That's how they're designed to fail, but it's still a little bit unnerving because I've seen pictures where, you know, it doesn't really work that properly and you see the plastic, it's like burnt. You know, I don't really like that in a light bulb. If it burns out, you know, that seems like it could be a fire hazard. It causes smoke. It actually smokes. I don't like that. LEDs don't do that. When they fail, they just don't work anymore. And finally, another thing to consider is that LEDs turn on instantly, whereas fluorescents do take a little more time to turn on, maybe up to a minute or so. So it seems like LEDs are better than CFLs in every way, and based on what I've been looking up, they pretty much are. I literally could not find one advantage of compact fluorescent lights over LEDs besides the initial cost. Even looking at the color quality, the CRI of the lights, which are on average higher in LEDs, not to mention the fact that LEDs this generation are much more efficient than the previous generation and probably will continue to get more effective than that. It really shows you that LEDs are basically the future. And while I doubt CFLs will go away because they are cheaper initially, someone is always gonna look at that and just make a decision based on that. But, you know, I really do think if you wanna look at the long term, LEDs are literally better in every single way. So I'm probably at this, after this research, I'm probably just gonna go and buy LEDs anytime I buy a new bulb. Probably wouldn't be worth it to replace the bulbs if they're still working, but you know, next time a bulb goes out, get an LED. So I wanna know what you guys think. If there was something I did not mention about CFLs that make them better, 
then definitely let me know in the comments section. Or if you prefer one over the other, you can let us know down there as well. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you guys enjoyed it. If you want to continue watching, I've got other videos on the right hand side. You can either click them or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. And if you want to subscribe, I make new videos three times a week so I think it should be worth it. So I look forward to hearing from you guys either on Twitter or in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Have a good one.